Hey everyone, what's up? I am so ready to begin today's video because I ordered some stuff from the Beauty Bay site and Beauty Bay strikes me as like the UK Ulta. They have their own makeup line, it's cruelty free, it's not expensive, and it just looks like really good quality for the price point. I was really surprised with how fast everything was like processed and then shipped out because it literally all happened in the span I think of like eight hours but what took a while was it to like clear customs and then all of that stuff so my package actually got to me about like a week and a half after I think but Nonetheless, it came and I'm so excited. I did pick up two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Fiery 2.0. And when I got this in the mail, I was like, this shit is huge. Like, what the hell? I mean, I think the whole color scheme is beautiful, but like these ones in particular, it has this huge mirror. Like, what the heck? It does kind of have like a like a funky smell to it, but I can't really pinpoint what it is. Like very fresh and new. Then I got this one and this is the nude palette. And oh my God, as soon as I saw this, I was like, this is everything to me. And in all honesty, <laughs> it was this color that spoke out to me. I was like, oh, that looks so cute. Um, and again, it comes with a really nice sized mirror. I do think I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette today. And then I also picked up um, a bronzer and highlight, which I'll be showing you later on. I thought I picked up a blush, but I realized I left it in my like saved items. I am actually gonna start with my face today. Usually when I use new eyeshadow palettes, I tend to start with those, but since this is more of like a neutral scheme, I think I'll be fine. Well, hopefully I will, I don't know. My skin is already prepped, so I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation and just a little bit of the Auric Glow Lust. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have my brows on, just in case you were like, uh. Then I'm gonna add some of the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. Then as usual, I'm just going to set the center of my face. So I'm going to take the Beauty Bay bronzer in the shade Beach. And this, I mean, it feels super silky. It looks pretty pigmented too. So let's just go lightly with this. Ooh. That literally just goes onto the skin like butter. And it's not skipping at all or looking patchy in any areas. I was a little afraid that it was going to be like too red. But I feel like it's pretty perfect. To highlight my face, I'm taking the Beauty Bay highlighter in the shade Beam. Like what? What? How is that even? My voice cracked because I'm so shocked. That is like, that's blinding. I'm like, so pretty. It is like the tiniest bit glittery, not even like glittery though. Cause once it goes onto the skin, it literally just looks Wet. For a blush, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild color icon in Keep It Peachy. I am loving this mirror. Like, so good. I got a big head too, so the fact that I can see all of it in the thing is great. Skin right now is doing something, okay? It looks so, so pretty. I'll zoom you in so you can see. Okay, so here is a closer look of the skin and I'm obsessed. Everything just melted together with one another and like, I am so impressed right now, especially for the price point, like that's ridiculous. Moving on to eyes, I'm taking the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in the shade Cream. This specific eye primer is a bit drier, so I 
do recommend putting it on with your fingers so you can warm up the product a little bit and so that it's easier to blend onto the eye. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using the shade All or Nothing right in my crease. Let's do the shade Warm and Cozy in the crease as well. So far, these colors are applying much softer than I was expecting, but it's not bad. Like, I do like what it's giving me right now. It's just not as pigmented as I was anticipating, but I don't find I'm having an issue building up the color. Let's go in with a bit of hot cocoa, see how that deepens it up. Oh, okay, yeah. See, like, that's kind of what I was expecting. Then I'm just going back in with the shade All or Nothing. And I'm going to use that to blend out the edges. Now I'm going to take some of the shade tempting on the inner corner of the eyes. Damn, these are actually like blending out like a dream. Like at first I was kind of like, eh, but I was wrong. These are really nice so far at least. Okay, then I'm gonna take the shade silver lining and i'm gonna pop that right on the center oh wow <gasps> i love it i am very curious to see how this shimmer applies wet so i'm gonna spray my brush a little and just see but i mean that in itself gave some really nice color payoff Ooh, mm -hmm. that's cool. Then I'm just gonna go back in and blend out the edges. For the inner corner, God, there's just so many options. Um, I'm gonna take the shade Honesty and see how that looks. I'm kind of curious to see what the shade Success looks like, so I'm going to add that right on top. Now, I'm going to take a bit of Warm and Cozy and just run that along my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to apply some of the silver lining shade to the center of the lower lash line. Just to see how this black is, I'm taking the shade Illicit and I want to apply a tiny bit to the outer corner. Yeah, damn. Now to just finish the eyes, I am going to add a bit of a brown eyeliner. Let me go ahead and do my lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and added some mascara and lashes. Now let's go ahead and finish up the lips. So I'm just taking my usual LA Girl lip liner. This one is in the shade Nonstop Nude. I'm going to add a little bit of Unbutton by Fenty to help lighten this lip up a little. All right, so this is the final makeup look. I am blown away by these makeup products. Like... I thought that they would be good, but I didn't think that they would be this good. I feel like this is so beginner friendly as well because like even with the eyeshadow palette when I was first using some of the matte shades, I was like, oh, okay, this is a lot lighter than I was expecting. But then as I continue to work with them and then build the color up and then use other shades on top, 
everything was just blending out seamlessly like there was no patchiness i didn't have trouble blending anything out and they all complemented each other so well and i am just like oh my god i'm so so happy with how this eye look turned out the silver lining shade is game changer like i feel like i'm gonna use this all the time on my eyes the highlighter and bronzer clearly i loved based off of all of this and the experience i had i'm a really big fan i think if you are looking for some affordable makeup it's definitely worth checking out obviously they don't have like a beauty bay so it is something that you're gonna have to order online you just get so much for your money i mean this is really incredible to me yeah i am really happy i don't really have anything negative i think to say about any of this i had a lot of fun making this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know if you have any other product recommendations that you would like me to try out and hopefully i can make that happen please take care of yourselves and do something every single day that brings you happiness and i will see you in another video bye video is gonna be a bitch to edit because i'm just like hopping around from one thing to the next. Is that a bird? What am I saying? I'm literally sweating like a motherfucker right now. Am I like a Beauty Bay fangirl? Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna stay right here.